All right, you guys, I found a thrift store near the Goodwill, so we're going to go in here. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Okay, so these metal crates, we'll call them, two huge crates full. The Build-A-Bear, that was cute, but they had it priced too high. I want to tell you guys that there are probably so many plush that I should have picked up, but I was completely overwhelmed. So we're just going to go through this plush together. And I'm going to pop up screen shares of everything that I have listed and show you guys what I got. I could not believe the amount of vintage plush in here. And I just have a feeling that the people that sell plush are going to be screaming at the camera. So there were a few items that I ended up picking up and you will see them in the near future. They had pink tags and I didn't really think anything was wrong with them, but I'm pretty sure they were washed with something red and I ended up donating those. So if you see a sign that says donated, that is because the item was damaged or did not work or had a red tag. So stay tuned for all of that. I did pick up that bear. Uh, the 25 or 26 percent off sale has not kicked in for that guy. So he's a little bit lower now in my store. I did pick up this cutie. This is vintage. It is adorable. Um, I have it listed at $37 or best offer. I just think it's cute. So I'm going to see if I can get that. I may have to wait until next Valentine's Day, but that's okay. This little tiger, so cute. You guys, the plush here was amazing. So I am looking at tags, but I did not really comp very much. Um, I just kind of grabbed and left. Uh, most of the items I paid a dollar or two dollars for, the prices I felt were very fair. Very fair. So I, I want to say I ended up spending about fifty dollars on everything. I can't remember the exact total. Okay, look at this little bunny. I have this adorable bunny before we get started. Together we sold it. Hello, you're listing plush? Well, I'm gonna list, I think, Christmas stuff. Hey, Wanda, thanks for coming in. But look at this adorable bunny, which I think would probably sell so good, but I looked at the ears and they wrote names on it. So I think that's maybe a first and last name. I have no idea, but I don't know if hairspray will take that off or not. All right, you guys, just a quick little update on the bunny. Just noticed its nose has a little spot on it. Oh, I bet that's from being in my dryer. Shucks. So I fixed one problem and made another one. Okay, so you remember the ears. Here's one of them. I pretty much gone. And this one looks pretty good too. So what did I do? I took hairspray and then I, that did not get it completely off. I am so bummed about the nose. <gasps> I bet that's from my dryer. Shucks. Um, so hairspray did not get it off. I used my uh, cleaning paste, the Norwex cleaning paste, and I just scrubbed it into the ear and that took most of it off. And then I grabbed my Norwex uh, laundry detergent and just rubbed it in there gritty and then uh, rinsed it and kept it soapy. And then I threw it in the washing machine and then I threw it in the dryer and I put it on extra low heat. I don't know, maybe that was like that on the nose and I just didn't notice it, but I'm guessing, I'm guessing I did that. So still the ears look great. I'm so happy about that. So this little cutie is gonna be listed in my eBay store. So I have to say I'm a little bummed about that. I did get the ears clean, but the nose, I messed up the nose, you guys. 
I know a lot of people do not dry their plush in the dryer, but I had it on very low heat. I didn't even think about the nose. Should I have got this little pig? I think that's a Minecraft maybe. Probably should have got that. This guy was super cool, but I got him home and he did not work. So I was planning to do a video on my reseller testing Bolo products channel. Sometimes I buy things that are animated just to get extra content on that channel. I'm wishing now that I probably should have got this little Donner um, reindeer just because he was a reindeer. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think I should have picked up the reindeer? Let me know also if you see anything else that you would have picked up that I left behind. Now, I will tell you, I did go back to this store again. The plush bin was half the size and not full. I was so bummed out. It's like I was totally anticipating walking in and finding a ton of plush, but I did not. I did find some stuff. So that video will be coming in the future once I get everything listed and get the video edits up. That will be coming. I think I should have got this octopus. It didn't have a tag on it, but um, it's an octopus. And I feel like people maybe look for those. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Lots of really, really cute stuff. Those were like, um, I think, earmuffs. A lot of items I ended up putting back. You know, you do your first round, you throw them in your cart, and then you put them back. This little guy is super cute. He is well-loved, but I feel like somebody is looking for it. And when I looked up comps, I think I found one in a different color. I don't recall. This little bear has not, the sale has not kicked in. I literally have just got all of this stuff listed so you're not going to see any solds because I didn't hold the video back and wait for items to sell. I just went ahead and popped up what I listed everything for and I'm going to let you guys just see how I listed things. This does have a bid. Okay, let's take a look at this Tyco Kitty Kitty Kittens plush. This one is well loved, but this is definitely a big money bolo, especially if the condition is excellent. I'm gonna pull up some comps for you guys. These are high solds. I'm searching high to low. Now, how does it work? Listen. So it's got something in its head and the rebel reseller just told me this. I thought it had something to do with the belly. There it goes. So I guess that's supposed to sound like a purr. Um, the belly is flat and it is pretty matted up. I am going to auction this off on eBay. The link is down in the description of the video if you're interested in bidding. And you can see the tag there is um, very faded. These are highly collectible. As I said in the video I just showed you, that was the video from my reseller testing Bolo products. I included that video in the description of the eBay listing to just show people really the condition. It was pretty matted, it's well loved, but again, I don't know if somebody can spruce it up, fix it up. This little lamb, oh my goodness, how cute is that? Um, love, love, love the little bunny slippers. That would be great for Easter. So I'm hoping that one's gonna sell before Easter, but it might not. If not, somebody will come along and want it. It is so cute. Some of these items I did list during my live working hangout over on my reseller testing Bolo products. If you guys are not following me over there, definitely do that. It's a lot of fun. I go on and I list live. I show you guys how I list my items. I pull up a screen share and you guys actually watch me list. This is awesome. I've got this up for auction. I just listed it, I think today or yesterday, for $49.99. And there was one sold comp for $50. So I'm going to start my auction at $49.99 and just see if maybe I get a bidding war. If not, I will list it, uh, relist it with a buy it now or best offer. So there's another one that was a pink tag. So I'm guessing all of these pink tagged items were washed with something red. There were a whole bunch of them. They were vintage. Such a bummer. I accidentally brought some home with me. So um, unfortunately... It happens. I probably donated, I think, four or five things. I'll show you throughout the video what I donated. Oh, oh, was that? Ah, 
that might have been a mistake throwing that thing back down. The Rebel reseller, if you're watching, should I have kept that reindeer looking thing? Oh my goodness, it was a big one. I, I'm guessing I threw back quite a few Bolo items. This little Pooh Bear I've got on auction because I couldn't find another like it. It has on a little Eddie Bauer jacket. Um, it's a Sears, uh, I don't know, a Sears brand. But I don't know if the Eddie Bauer jacket is original to it or not. Okay, so here I am. <laughs> oh, silly me, I had to do that. I did that um, in one other video that I have I was at this same store and it was on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. So I'm like, I'm going to do it again today. Just being silly. Again, that one was a vintage Hallmark. I probably should have grabbed it. Zombie Bargain Hunter. If you are watching, you're probably be like slapping your head. So Zombie Bargain Hunter is another amazing plush channel. He finds so much plush. Uh, check him out. That was a Build-A-Bear, but I think it was priced high also. So this place kind of knows that Build-A-Bear are um, good, so they price those up a little. Most of the items, again, were either a dollar or two dollars. I should say 99 cents or a dollar 99 because they did the 99 cent thing. You know how they say, people feel like they're getting a better deal if it's a lower number with 99 cents. What do you guys think? Do you believe that? This Pinocchio ended up having um, some discoloration, so I did price that low, but he was so, so cute, so I decided to still list him instead of donate him. All right, this elephant. If you guys were at my live working hangout when I listed this, um, we talked about me making an elephant sound, and I did not do it, and I tried it after the show, and I am so glad that I did not do it because what I was thinking in my head that I could do, it just did not work out. So for those of you that want me to make an elephant sound, it is never going to happen because I just can't do it. Anyway, if you were there, you'll get, get what I'm talking about. This little mouse, super cute. Um, I did check comps on that one because I just wasn't sure about it. I wanted to make sure that it wasn't um, something fantastic, and I ended up throwing that back. All right, we got this little, uh, what is it, Webby? or Yeah, I think it's Webby. Super cute, um, but there are a lot listed. So a tip from Donatella Bottolino is to hold it close and to the side, but apparently I didn't hold it close enough, and it wasn't tilted enough. Anyway, I was cracking up and I'm like, I'm so putting your text in this video. And we both like did the laughing emojis. Anyway, we have a lot of the same viewers. So um, you guys that know Donna, that is totally a Donna comment. Look at this little bunny. I think he was a part of the, I was washed with something red. So many got ruined because of that. This little guy's cute, super cute. I think it was, was that a build bear No, that was, no. No, it kind of looked like one. This little backpack, should I have got it? I feel like maybe I should have got it, but I think if I remember correctly, maybe the zipper was broken. Yeah, I knew there was a reason I didn't pick that up. Another poo plush. I did not say poo, as in poop. I said poo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Earlier today I was doing a video and somebody thought I said something else. Here's the pink tag. Another one ruined by the washing machine. I did pick it up though because it was totally vintage. But I wanted to ask you guys, how do you do with Winnie the Pooh items? I feel like they're a slower sale, like more of a long tail item. But I don't know if it's just me thinking that or if that's legit. So let me know your experience in the comment comments if you sell plush. I cannot believe how many I am watching here that I'm like, I wish I would have got that. So many. Let me know in the comments which items I passed on that you would have got. Like, should I have got that bunny? I mean, it was an Easter bunny with a carrot. That looks like another victim of the pink tag. <laughs> oh, goodness. But it doesn't look like it's messed up anywhere else on that one. Hmm. <laughs> Plush are so cute. They're just so cute. And they sell. A lot of times they're long tail. So 
if you sell plush or if you're going to start selling plush, just know that you have to be patient. Some items are gonna move quickly and some are gonna sit until the right buyer comes along, but you will get emails from people that tell you how long they've been looking for something and thank you so much for having this item. So that kind of makes it worth it. Look at this, it's a tie. It was cute though, it was a kangaroo. That was kind of cute. Cute, everything's cute. I probably could have spent $200. I should have said, I'll take it all. I think that is a Build-A-Bear. Should I have got that? Like some of these smaller ones, I probably should have examined them more. We are gonna keep moving along here. I do go over to the toy section. I find a couple things and we'll, I'll show you those with comps. One of them I had to donate because it did not work. Okay, I shouldn't say it didn't work, it kind of worked. It was supposed to have like three songs that it played and it only played one, so I donated it. This guy, I could not find any comps, so I have it priced high. It is so cute. It's a panda and it's adorable. So I priced it high with best offer. We'll see what happens. That was kind of cute. I don't know what that was. Lots of cute stuff. I think I was just a little bit overwhelmed. Like, should I have got the bunny? I probably should have got that bunny. Okay, so you remember the big reindeer that I threw back and I was like, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, hold on a second. Stay tuned. I think I'm getting ready to grab it. Oh, maybe it's gonna be in a minute. I'll tell you guys when we get there what I'm talking about. But here it is. I was watching the Rebel Reseller and I'm pretty sure she talked about these and I just threw it to the side. It's like a little reindeer. I can't remember what they're called. But I will tell you, spoiler alert, I went back, I don't know, like two weeks, three weeks, maybe a month later, and I found it and I bought it. Um, I don't think it's a big money bolo, but I do think it will sell. So shout out to the Rebel Reseller. If you guys are not following her, definitely follow her, especially if you want to learn about plush. But she does also sell um, vintage hard goods and toys. Jackpot. Yes, this is a vintage Stife, you guys, that I got for 99 cents. Not kidding. Could not believe it. So prices were kind of all over the place on eBay, but I did find a comp on WorthPoint that I can't remember what it was, but I think it was close to $100. So I went ahead and priced mine high. I think I talked about it during the live show. I can't, maybe it was 75, I don't know, but whatever it was, I decided to go high on that one. So Stife is collectible for sure, especially the really old vintage items. That little guy was cute, I'm not sure what he was. There's that reindeer thing again I was telling you about. This is Mary Meyer, um, a great brand to pick up. Should I have got the bunny? <laughs> I probably should have got that bunny. And that little thing, that was cute. I think it was a rattle. So we're just gonna keep on picking through this plush. Can you believe it? Can you believe how many plush they had? I was so bummed when I went back the next the next month and there was only one crate. I'm like, no, I thought you guys like had carts of this all the time. I remember, um, I think it was last year or two years ago I went in here and it was the same thing. I got a ton of plush, just really great plush. So I, I'm going to call this my plush store. <laughs> that was an old, no, Olaf? Yeah, Olaf. The snowman Olaf, little mouse puppet. I think it's a mouse. Wonder what that pocket is in the front. Looks like a kangaroo pocket, right? Hmm. 
little itty bitty plush. There's a bunny rabbit. I don't know what that was. Maybe I should have looked that up. It had a tag on it. All right. We are about to move on to the toys. We are getting close. So I don't do a ton of thrift with me videos. I'm going to try to do more. Um, this same day I went to the bins, so there's gonna be some bins footage coming soon. That is a little for real pony. It is just a little, um, it's small, it's very, very small, but it walks and it's super, super cute. And I figured it would be some content for my um, reseller testing Bolo products. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And it's just a bread and butter, but I think it was 99 cents. So hopefully it sells and I make a little bit of money, but definitely um, always looking for things for my new channel. I can't remember, Dakin, Dakin, isn't that cute? All right, let's see. Look at that banana. Look at that little girl. So many things I should have got. All right, we're over at the toys. And look at these. Should I have picked these up? I can't remember. Let's see how much they were. 59 cents? Let me know in the comments if you would have bought all of those. All right, here he is. It is a sloth. It's a dancing sloth. And it's little butt wiggles. If you want to see how this works, head over to my reseller testing Bolo products channel. I do have a video Unfortunately, it only played one song and I would think it was supposed to play three, so I just went ahead and donated that. Checking through the Barbies here, looking for anything vintage or old. Didn't see anything, so we are just going to do a quick scan of the toys. I got excited when I saw these bags of toys. I love bags of toys, but didn't really find anything. Um, I did look. Sometimes you can find some treasures in the small toy um, bags, but I didn't find anything. This I thought about, but I think it might have been a dollar store item. Now, there is one item that I picked up at the dollar store. I was like, I want to go to the dollar store and I want to see if I can buy something and sell it. And they kind of looked like that, only they were My Little Ponies. And I sold out of them. It did take a few years. And I think I paid a dollar for them. And I think I sold them for between 6 and $10 each. Now this guy, he is a bolo. If you guys ever see these, definitely pick them up. We had a good time on my working hangout live show with that one. I was like showing everybody how it worked and I'm like everybody is going to leave it was so okay it was a little bit annoying but it was so funny it sings skinnamarink a dink a dink yeah go watch the video it is so cute I didn't really know that they had three modes and if you push the hand it goes into a different mode and one of the modes is it actually sings the song so you have to like control it to the beat so go over to that video and see how I did. That was pretty cool. It was a vintage game. Um, I left it behind. I didn't want to check for pieces. Uh, plus, I was recording. And a lot of times when I'm recording, things like that, I just don't want to stop recording and take the time to look up. I'm not brave enough to do a GoPro. I just use my phone to record. So um, I guess I do have a second phone. I should probably take the second phone with me and um, look up comps with it. That makes sense. I use it during my live shows to uh, one phone, I'm watching the chat, and the other phone, I'm uh, like looking up images on Google Image. So, pretty, pretty cool. So what happened was, I went in, <laughs> this is a bad story, um, I went into the store to get a new phone, and they're like, oh, well, you can get a free phone, and I'm like, oh, okay, and I didn't realize that I had to get another phone line, <laughs> so 
when he told me I had to get another phone line, I'm like, well, I don't, I don't want the phone then. I just, I don't know why I thought that I was getting a second phone. Anyhow, he was really, really upset. I mean, this guy was so mad and I was like, he's having a bad day. So he talked me in to getting the second phone. I'm like, okay, I'll just get it. And how he talked me into it was I asked him how much my bill would be with one line, with one phone line. And he told me a price. And then I asked him if I had the second phone line, how much it would be. And it was almost the same, which is really confusing, but I bought into it and I fell for it. And I walked out of there with two phones and a bill that is not the same. So the good news is, Um, I now have two phones to use when I'm recording and doing my live shows. So it all worked out, but yeah, the bill was not the same. And the reason he was not including the insurance. So that increased the price and then taxes and all of that stuff. So the bill was not the same. So when you go in, be very careful because you may get talked into a second line that you don't need. In hindsight, I do feel like I needed it. Not to use the phone portion of it, because nobody really needs two phone lines, but I have access to um, the internet. So if I'm at the thrift store, like right now, I could use both phones since I record with my phone. So it all worked out. But yeah, I got home and I told my husband, I'm like, I am so sorry. I am so, I was so confused. He's like, whatever. (laughs) So I would say maybe when the year is up, maybe I'll cancel it. Maybe I'll keep it. I am using it quite often. I wasn't doing a whole lot of live shows when I first got it, but now I am. So I may keep it. So you guys just heard the entire phone story of why I have two phones. (laughs) All right. I did pick up this little lamb. That was perfect. That was perfect timing because I didn't really buy anything during that time. So you got to hear the phone story. Little lamb, super, super cute, would be a great Easter plush for someone. All of these items are listed in my eBay store. The link is down in the description of the video. If you see something you would like, please feel free to um, use the make offer button. Just put uh, Bolo Buddies in the notes when you make the offer so that I know you're from the channel. I do leave some room for negotiations. So I don't know what that was. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.